Well, welcome to the stage, it's Malcolm! <laughs> so many sex and gay jokes tonight. <laughs> Hi, I'm Malcolm, I'm single, I need takers. Okay, don't have, okay, back to grinder. Yeah, I left my own inside. Uh, so, dating is not easy, especially when you are gay. You know, some people, they don't like fat guys, some don't like skinny guys. For me, I don't like short guys, so no offense to Sam. <laughs> so, so, if you're gay and you don't like other gay guys, doesn't mean you homophobic? Homophobic, homosexual? Homophobic sexual? Or maybe simply I'm just Christian, huh? so. <laughs> so, but for gay guys, I really like to see, uh, which is the reason why I have two cats, uh, you can see from my shirt. And I'm a very proud uh, father of two cats, and usually I just tell people that there are four members in my family. Uh, so, usually uh, there's myself, of course, my mom, and of course my two cats. But tell people who feel that, you know, animals, they'll say that, hey, Pussy doesn't count, right? okay? So I said, yeah, that's why I never include my lesbian sister. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she doesn't live with me anyway, so hopefully it knows recording and she doesn't <laughs> So being single, I feel that there's a lot of opportunity for me to go travel, uh, which is the best thing you do, uh, you know, like in a hotel in a single bed in your home. So, but traveling is also pretty much like dating, you know, there's a, you need to choose wisely, right? So in Singapore, you know, the image that Singapore gives people is like this sophisticated, okay, uh, but yet pretentious kind of, you know, uh, place. And then if Malaysia, Malaysia is the more relaxed and definitely the cheaper alternative, which is why we're over there. And Thailand, Thailand is the place that you go there to do weed with. But just as long as you don't tell Singapore about it. So I'm kind of Singaporean very serious. Like, usually if I tell you in Thailand, it's a bit more fun. Yeah. So, <laughs> so it's okay, you can do weed. It's just all Singapore uh, uh, knows about it and that's totally fine. No one goes to find out, no one's going to get jealous about it. And the other thing about um, traveling or even dating is that you always have to be aware of the red flags. So recently, I decided that, hey, I'm going to go to Myanmar. And then my friend was like, huh? Why don't you go to Myanmar? Don't go there. So against everybody's wishes, against the fact that there's a civil war going on, against the fact that it's very dangerous, I say, hey, why not, man? You know, YOLO uh, is only one life to go anyway. So if you think that wow, well, military occupation is bad, right? You know, if you think that you know there's like, gonna be bombs, there's gonna be like fire everywhere. No, I had it worse, but I leave to tell the tale. When I was there the first night in the uh, city, my bus didn't arrive. The second day when I go to another city, somehow managed to go to the second city, my tour guide did not show up. <laughs> and then there's this really nice place my friend wants to go there because she wants to take this very nice Instagram photo which I have to go across the river. So there we are at the ferry terminal. Guess what happened? No, there is ferry, but there's no ferry terminal! <laughs> <laughs> the ferry terminal was bombed, okay, you know, destroyed because of the lack of tourists going to the city. So I kind of figure that, you know, between traveling and dating, I don't think I have that much luck in terms of traveling. So probably back to dating, you know, at least you know when I opened up Grindr, there is a terminal of dates waiting for me. <laughs> so that's all I have for you guys. Uh, thank you guys.